Hi YouTube! I'm going to show you how to do a fill with clear builder gel from IBD and calcium capping from Starnail. So stay tuned, it'll be fun! So I've applied the bonder and I cured in an LED light for 10 seconds and now I'm dabbing the excess that was left behind. I'm not removing it, I'm just dabbing it and getting ready for the process which will be the building gel first. So this is the IBD Builder Gel and it's a really thick gel. I think if you needed to um, thicken up a nail or if you had any kind of concaving to your nail, uh, this will definitely give it structure and uh, thickness. So I'm just applying it in the new growth area and just spreading it down to the free edge. So I guess the same way you would apply nail polish you would start in little mini strokes and then just work your way right down to the See that it's a thick gel it's really thick but it does level itself when you cure it in the light I cured for one minute uh, in the light and I applied one coat of the builder gel and then I went in with my calcium capping and one coat of the calcium capping so it's only two coats of gel that I have on my nail so I find that this is giving my nail the strength and flexibility that I need because my nails are fairly long so um, it's I find it really good and so far it's been working out for me. So after I apply the um, the builder gel from IBD, I give my fingers I, like I wipe the tacky residue off, um, and then I just go in if I need to smooth out my nail, um, I'll smooth it out before I apply the calcium capping. But I found that the builder gel um, it actually smooths itself it levels itself really nicely so uh, but still I'm just gonna go through and if there's anything rough I'm gonna file it down before I apply the calcium capping so this feels a little rough so I'm just gonna give a, a just a light a very light buff that's one thing I like about gel nails is there's really not much filing you definitely don't need an electric drill just to give a light buff just to kind of smooth it out a bit so I started using the the builder gel um, when I do my fills and I just put one coat of builder gel and then I use one coat of the calcium capping I haven't been able to find the calcium capping that the supplier that I shop at they're not carrying it so um, it, which is not a big deal I mean I really do like it but I'm sure there's other gels out there see this one feels pretty smooth but I'm just gonna level it a bit I know there's other gels if the calcium capping is a very thin gel unlike this um, gel builder the gel builder is quite thick and heavy it's a great gel I like it I really like it so I think when I'm finished the calcium capping I'm going to go with um, I think IBD has a regular gel so I'm gonna try out the regular gel So after I've buffed off the first coat of the Builder Gel, I'm going to go in now with the calcium capping. You can see it's a lot, the gel is a lot thinner. 
and I'm just brushing it on. It's it spreads out a lot better than the builder gel, but that stands to reason because the builder gel is exactly that. It's it's a a building gel. If you have any uh, concaves in the in your work, um, the builder gel will fill all those in. So it's almost like the builder gel is like, um, what would it be like? The builder gel is like structure, structure to the nail gives it structure and then the calcium capping just kind of smooths everything out. Although the calcium capping on its own is very good too. I have a video where I show calcium capping when I had like four inch nails. I was using the calcium capping. I think I was using with fiberglass. And then I'm going to go in and cure this for a minute in a LED light. This nail turned out really good. Oh, and then just kind of sealing, sealing it with the calcium capping. And then I'm going to cure that for a minute. So that's it. I'm just going to remove the tacky residue that is left uh, from behind and put a little bit of oil and then do some nail art. And that's the finish work.